Okay, in this video, we're going to go through the song On Bended Knee, and we're going to learn the vocabulary for it. Now, this year, I've kind of taken three different songs, one for beginners, one of them for a little bit of advance, and one that's kind of in the middle. So if you're in the kind of in the middle, then this might be the song that you want to do. Uh, and if you want to, you can do all three uh, and be part of all three. Either way. So on bended knee, here we go. On bended knee I come. On, you just kind of lay one hand on top of the other. Bended knee, bended knee. Now notice what I did there. I actually bowed forward a little bit because if I'm really in bended knees, I'm like this, right? So let your body show your signs as well. On bended knee, and it's just these are your knees and this is the floor and you're on bended knee, all right? I come. There are signs for coming and going. I shouldn't surprise you. Sign for coming is this way. Sign for going is that way. Unless I am coming to see you. English is so broken. How do I come to see you? Come towards me, right? In this sentence, when I bended me, I come, I'm actually going. All right? Uh, again, English language. I don't know who thought that that was the right way. It should be on bended me, I go. But it doesn't. It says come. But we're going to sign either go or go. Either way. And the way that works is you kind of point to each other and then line up and go. Okay? I come with humble heart, with hands together. Okay? Humble. Humble. And again, your body needs to show what it is that you're trying to express. If you say humble, well, what does that show? That's not showing humility at all. That's like the guy who got the, the, the award for being the most humble. And they took it away from him because he wore it. Think about it. Anyway, humble. Okay. Heart. Heart. Oh, and I left the word A out. Let me just say something about that. A is a connector word. We leave out a lot of connector words like A and an and uh, is and are and the. Some of those words that do nothing more than glue, active glue in sentences, we'll drop those. Okay? The deaf don't use them, and that's why we drop them. With a humble, with a humble heart. You just kind of make a little circle and touch your heart. You can also do heart. I've seen it done that way as well. Uh, I. In sign language, pronouns are easy. I. You just point to whatever. You. It. Uh, uh, them. Uh, them. They. All right. So pointing to myself is I or me. Okay. Come. Whatever way you sign it the first time, do it the same way the second time. Come. Bowing down before your holy throne. Notice I'm saying these things in sentences. You should practice them in sentences. Because if you don't practice them in sentences, you will wind up with signs that sound like individual words. And you don't want that. Bowing down. My head is doing the same thing. My hand is. Bowing down. Before. Now, so if you're on your knees and you're bowing down and God is above you up here somewhere, you're going to have to look up to see his holy throne. Okay? So bowing down before. This is, how do I want to say this? Uh, this is not like before, like in, I did this once before. This is before as in, as in front of. Okay, I'm standing in front of. And so what you're going to do is you're going to have the person you're standing there, he's represented by that hand, and then you are represented by this hand. So bowing down before your... Now, just like this is you, if you do it with an open palm, it shows ownership pronouns. Your. 
and just like mine and yours and his and hers and its or whatever and it's directional notice that I was doing that in different directions it's pointed towards the item towards the noun if you want to think of it that way uh, bowing down before your God's up there so directional up holy throne holy and H circling and then coming in and wiping clean holy throne you know how the thrones you have the the, the armrest with the little curly thing here at the front well that's kind of what the throne is it's those armrests okay lifting holy hands to you lifting okay now this is time for lift all right but you're not really lifting something you're not lifting weights okay uh, and I'm sure all of us have in ch church seen people lift holy hands as it tells us to do in the Bible, right? Lifting holy hands uh, to you. So just do that. Lifting holy hands, lifting holy hands to you. All right? To you. And we might even drop the word to. Just throw it away. So lifting holy hands to you as I pledge my love anew as it's the same here as it is here it's a little further away from you over here and it's a little closer to you here but they're pretty much the same as I pledge the P pop now don't make the pop sound all right but make a P and do like that and that is promise or pledge my did my already love like you're loving and holding on to your teddy bear a new kind of take this hand this hand stays still and you kind of take the knuckles and hit the back palm of your hand new I in that pronoun worship you take this hand, you wrap it in this hand, and worship, and you it, the, the posture that you should recognize. You in spirit, in is all your fingers kind of going into a cup. Spirit, same sign as soul, same sign as ghost, and so sounds like so wing. Now that only works for hearing people not for deaf but since you're probably hearing so low this sounds like sewing and that's kind of the, the motion you use soul or spirit i worship you in truth now you can do you more than one way when you're talking to, to god you can point with a single finger or you can point with an open hand and sometimes i get a little uh you should be consistent in the song and sometimes I'm inconsistent and that's a failing on my part don't make the same failing pick one either you or you okay most often it should be this way open palm in I worship you in truth truth it's a touching of the the, the chin and it's kind of coming out do that sideways truth okay make it kind of you're working on something and I'm not sure how to describe that sign other than just to do it make you kind of come with your bit wrist bent and then you have them straight make my life it's the letter L and it's coming up the middle of your body life a holy praise unto you a holy we already figured that praise we're leaving out the word a right praise unto okay and it's not to you don't actually touch you get almost unto you or you either way I told you I make it kind of half and half anyway on bended knee I come 
second verse. We know how to do that one. On bended knee I come with a broken heart this time. A broken heart. Broken. It's like you have a pencil and you're going to go snap it. Broken heart I come bowing down before your holy throne. Boy, that sounds a lot, a lot like the first verse. Okay. As, again, the word as is there. I look upon your face. As I look upon your face. Well, as I look on your face. Show where I want to show you something. I have something. I have a line right here. I want to show it to you right here. See, see, okay. That's the sign for show. Your open palm, mercy. Okay, mercy is middle finger, kind of making a little circle out here. Mercy, and it's the open palm kind of crumbing across your chest into all your fingers being together, and. Your grace. Circle splat. Okay. I know it's not a very reverent way of saying, saying grace. But anyway, that's what it is. It's kind of like the light that hit Paul as he was walking down the road to Damascus. Okay. Take my life. Take. So, uh, how do I want to describe take? You kind of reach like you're going to catch a fly in the air. Take, take my life. We know all those signs. Oh, oh, dropping down, coming around, and finishing where you started. Making, guess what? O's, O's, making O's. That's O. Holy Spirit, make me fresh and ever new fresh fresh i don't think he's talking about having that fresh feeling or the hmm i'm not be sounding and smelling so fresh he's talking about excited or uh inspired okay i'm going to use the word inspired or thrilled or energized okay and ever new. All right, we did anew, and anew turns out to be the same sign as new. Ever is always. Just point to the air with your knuckles out and do a circle. Always new. Make my life a holy, you did all of those before, sacrifice. I have something here I'm going to offer to you. Sacrifice to you. Okay? There. That's the vocabulary. Pretty simple. If uh, you're looking for something a little more challenging, try the, uh, the next song, which is uh, 10,000 Angels. Alright? Anyway, that's my little advertisement. I'm hoping to see how many people will choose the challenging song. Anyway, don't feel like I'm, for, I'm pressuring you there. Choose the song that you can do. Here we go. This is On Bended Knee. Looking forward to seeing you there at LTC. Good luck.